today we will see which is the role of Bioptron to fight against viral infections. But first of all, we need to understand which is a viral infection. A viral infection is a contamination of any tissue of our organism by a virus. Of course, different viruses will infect different tissues, uh, provoking different pathologies that the symptoms will be different. But in a nutshell, the process of viral infection is always the same. As you can see here, the first phase, the virus will enter in contact with the cell of our bodies. They will use a specific part of the virus that is called a spike protein that is very important for the following information. Once the virus is inside our cell, they will give the instructions to our cell to construct little parts of the virus. It's the, the virus will provide its RNA, that we will also talk a little bit about that later. The RNA of the virus provide to our cell the instruction to construct different parts of the virus, as you can see here, and then to assemble them to make new viruses. Afterwards, these viruses will go out of our cell and will be able to infect other cells, spreading the viral infection. On top of that, this infection can provoke an inflammation. The inflammation is a normal response from our body, um, thanks to the immune system, to fight against a harm, virus, bacteria, etc. The problem is that this process can develop in the time and can cause some side effects, as we will see. Very important in the viral infection is the action of our immune system. But what is an in our immune system? So the immune system is the host defense system. It's the system of our bodies that will fight against any pathogen, any external pathogen. Of course, an immune system is a very complex system with quite a lot of different cells that are involved, tissues and processes. We will not enter in that detail, but it's very important to know that the our immune system protects our body against viruses, bacteria, onco oncogenic cells. But it's also very important in these cellular processes as inflammation, pain. And of course, the immune system has been already using medicine, for example, for vaccinations or to, for tumor cancer uh, treatments. Then afterwards, we will see how that works, the vaccination and immune system. So now that we know how, what is a virus and what is a uh, um, immune system and how it, they are important one to each other, we will understand how Bioptron will help our immune system to fight against these viruses. So first of all, as you have seen earlier, the first phase is the virus will enter in contact with our cells to create new virus cells. For that, when the virus is in, it's very important to destroy it. For that, our body needs to send a specific cells from the immune system. It's like our body needs to send a lot of soldiers that will fight against this external pathogen, in, this, in that case, against this virus. For that, they need to know where to go. And this is thanks to the cytokines. So cytokines are the small molecules, very different, that will call the soldiers to arrive to the infection site. We know that the bioptron is stimulating the secretion of these cytokines, helping the immune system, helping to these soldiers to arrive to the infection site to fight against the viruses that are entering in our body. But on top of that, as you know already, bioptron is improving the microcirculation. So those immune cells need to arrive to this infection site by the blood. And for that, bioptron is improving the arrival of blood to that site. It's like if bioptron not only was helping the soldiers to come to the infection site, but also is bringing the flow of water in a which these soldiers are coming by boats. So bioptron is helping the immune system to arrive to the infection site to, to fight against this external pathogen and also helping these cells to arrive faster. Also, the cytokines are very important to eliminate, to indicate to our immune system which cells are already infected by the virus and should be eliminated. If you remember from our previous uh, scheme, when the virus is inside our cells, they will have these assembly instructions to create new viruses. These cells will be able to put flags in their surface saying, 
I am infected. I am producing viruses. So what is very important is that when these cells are infected and put these flux, these cytokines will recognize it and will say to other cells of the immune system, hey, come here, this cell is infected, we need to destroy it. It's very important to destroy these cells because like that, we can avoid that they are producing more viruses and the viral infection is being spread. Also, Biotron has effects in the synthesis of DNA. So when we are talking about destroying cells or we are talking about destroying the virus or bacteria, there are specific cells that will destroy that through a specific cellular mechanisms, like for example, phagocytosis. We know that Biotron is increasing these cellular mechanisms. Biotron is helping these cells to eat and destroy the virus and the infected cells. So vi uh, Vioptron is reinforcing the action of your immune system. Finally, as I told you, Vioptron will help in the destruction of infected cells, but also in next infections. We will see a little bit more in detail that, but if you see here, I told you that Biotron is stimulating the production of these cytokines that will say to the immune system, this cell should be eliminated because it's infected. Then with the time, and we'll see in the next slides, our immune system will be able to produce antibodies. To produce these antibodies, um, we'll need to interact specific cells from the immune system and the interaction between cells is through cytokines. So we know that the bioptron is improving the connection between the specific cells of immune system that they will be able to produce antibodies, I will come back to that, that then will be able to destroy these infected cells much more accurate if we are infected in a second time. So to do a resume of what I explained you now, Bioptron can help your immune system to fight against the viruses and help to stop the viral infection at different stages. When the virus is centering in your cell, in your, in your cell, in your bodies, Bioptron will allow <clears throat> the arrival of a specific immune cells to the infection site. It will bring these soldiers that will fight against this virus. On top of that, thanks to the production of specific cytokines, will help to eliminate the infected cells, avoiding that the, these cells are producing new viruses that will continue to spread in our tissues. Also, it will help to these soldiers, to these uh, cells, to uh, increase the mechanisms that will help to destroy the external pathogens. And on top of that, it will help to coordinate this specific interaction between different cells of the immune system to fight against the virus if we are infected a second time. This is the principle of vaccines that we will see in the next slides. And also very important, and I will not spend so much time on that, just remember that Bioptron has anti-inflammatory effects. We know that Bioptron is increasing the anti-inflammatory cytokines. So when this viral infection is producing an inflammation that can become dangerous because it became chronic, Bioptron compensate that. Bioptron will decrease this anti will decrease this inflammation, decreasing the probability perhaps to uh, develop a severe form of viral infection. Something that I would like to show you now, it's how these uh, viruses are connecting with our bodies and how this is spread. If you remember, I told you that when the virus is entering in our bodies, they have this spike protein. Do you see these small orange things? This is how the virus will connect with our cells and then it will enter in our body. Then in the future, as we will see now, if we are able to produce these antibodies, is we will boost our immune system to that, the virus will be not able to connect to our cells and we will stop the viral infection. I will come back to that in a moment.
So now you have understood how Bioptron can help you during the viral infection at different steps, boosting your immune system and helping your defense, your defense uh, system to fight against this virus. But now I will talk about one topic that I think all of you are uh, very interested, that are these vaccines. We are all now in phase of this, uh, this process. So first of all, we need to understand what is a vaccine, okay? So as I told you previously, the vaccines use also the immune system, okay? <coughs> Sorry. So the vaccines, what they will do is force the body to create a specific antibodies that will fight specifically against a virus. As I told you before, when the virus enters in our bodies, our immune system will send soldiers, will send cells that will fight against these viruses. But this vaccine producing the antibodies, what they will do is to produce a specific weapons that are fighting specifically against these viruses. Like if you produce weapons that are really efficacy with, against this virus and they will destroy it directly, okay? So if you remember from our previous um, slides in this scheme of, uh, of viral infection, you can see when the virus was in the, in the cell and was providing this RNA, okay, these instructions to produce new pieces of virus, okay, one of them is this RNA for the spike protein. This protein that is in the surface of the virus that, as we saw in the video, will allow the virus to enter in the cell. So what vaccines do is to insert this little RNA, so these instructions for use, only for the spike protein. In that way, the immune system will be able to recognize this little protein and they will start to produce these famous antibodies, these weapons that are specifically against the coronavirus. For that, the immune system needs to connect and to um, different cells need to connect and to um, boost a specific cellular mechanisms that will produce this, um, these antibodies. So Bioptron in that case, we know that it's involved very actively in this connection between cells. So Bioptron, as I told you, it will help to produce these cytokines that will favorize the connection between cells to produce the antibodies. So when you take a vaccine or when you are um, you have been infected by the coronavirus, this the, your immune system will have naturally this process of connection between cells to produce these antibodies. But the fact the fact to use Bioptron will boost will have a synergic effect to produce these antibodies. I would like that you saw that in a very easy way with this um, with this uh, video. So I will share with you again this video in a way you can see more easily what I'm trying to tell you. So this is a vaccine. When you are having your, uh, your vaccination, what the vaccine is doing is adding this RNA. Do you see this instruction for construct only the spike protein? So those RNA will be um, taken by the cells of your body, specifically for immune cells, as you can see here. And then this RNA will be in the cell. So the instructions are there to be read. What, did, what these cells of the immune system will do is to read these instructions, as you can see here, and then they will produce the spike protein. But not the virus, just these little pieces. Like if it was a human, you were able to have only a finger. They will put this flag, in their surface, and then other cells of the immune system will interact with them, it will recognize it, and they will be able to create antibodies. As you see, there is quite a lot of different interaction between the cells. This is thanks to the cytokines, and these cytokines will be stimulated by the use of Bioptron. They will create these antibodies, so this specific weapons that are against this specific virus in a way when you are again infected via by the virus you have already the weapons your immune system will send to them they will neutralize the virus and they will not even able to fight to enter in your cells 
So I hope it's uh, clear now how the immune system works. It's very simple, as I explained to you today, but it's in a way you can see how important is the immune system and the interaction between them and how bioption can help stimulating the cytokine and helping and boosting the interaction between different cells in the immune system to fight against the external path. I hope I have convinced you that the bioption is very important in the reinforcement of your immune system at different levels of the process and will help the immune system to optimize its action. This is very important in general, specifically in winter with a uh, winter virus, but even more with the actual situation with coronavirus. So you can improve your life and protect your whole family from viral infections because I remember you that Biotron is medically certified to be used in newborns and children. How to use it? If you have a virus in a specific part of your body, you can treat between 6 and 10 minutes once or twice a day in the region that is affected. And of course, you can add again 6 or 10 minutes per session to reinforce the immune system in the low back part or at the sternum level, as you can see here. So a big number of scientific papers prove the positive effects of bioptron on immune system. So please don't miss the opportunity to have a fantastic medical device that can help you and the whole family to be protected against viral infections. Thank you very much.